it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am so pumped to bring you this Dorcas inspired look from the chilling adventures of Sabrina. The Weird Sisters styling is everything, I love them. And this is the nightgown scene, but I do have the classic milkmaid braids that she usually wears. Coming up, I'm just waiting on my lace sleeves to come in the mail um, because my UPS guy decided not to knock today even though I literally sat there patiently waiting at my door. You know, sometimes things don't work out, but I hope you like this look and if you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up, especially if you want to see more Sabrina videos and comment down below who your favorite character in the series is and if you haven't watched it yet, you got to. It is so funny and I love the dark humor and the costuming and set design is super cool. It's like a blend of a whole bunch of different eras. Um, they just take the best from everything and it's very visually pleasing. So yeah, let me know what you like about the show as well. And if you're new to my channel and you love TV and movie recreations, then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss an upload. And let's just get started. Got some deep dark nails for this tutorial, and I love to use two bases for the skin, one that's moisturizing and illuminating, and then another to mattify and smooth for the larger pores from my nose to my cheeks. If you have dry patches that makeup might stick to, my favorite thing to do is apply the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and just let it sit, and then I buff away the dead skin before applying the rest of the makeup to give my skin that bouncy, hydrated texture, even if it is discolored from past blemishes. And we're going pale today, so I'm mixing my current favorite foundation, the Benefit Hello Happy in shade 1, with the Body Shop Lightning Drops, and I love to use the IT Cosmetics foundation brush to apply. I haven't used my Beauty Blender in so long because I just just love this brush. Adding in some Benefit Hydrated Concealer. Like I said, my skin is a little bit more dry than normal and this concealer is awesome for not picking up that texture as much while still covering the redness. This is my favorite powder by Charlotte Tilbury. I read some reviews and some people don't love the scent of this, so if you can smell it in stores, I would do that before like ordering it. But I'm not bothered because I do really like how it sets my makeup for a natural finish and my favorite all year round bronzer that I've seriously hit pan on, the Benefit Hula Light. Highly recommend for pale skin and I'm using this to add more dimension to the face, under the cheekbones, jawline, and forehead and I love that it's matte. Nose contour for a cute button effect. I'm defining my bridge slightly smaller, connecting through to the eye sockets, then a shadow above the tip and fading along the nostrils. love the look of that and optional but of course I love some faux freckles I think it really makes the reddish hair look more natural on me so I'm using shade 3.5 of Benefit's goof proof brow pencil this is in like every tutorial I use it daily and just tap on the freckles using the edge of the product and then blend in by tapping your finger over that so it blends into the texture of the skin Easy peasy and brows using the same product. I'm creating a higher rounded arch. I should have kept my brows a little farther apart for this look to have it more bang on, but I like my brows a bit closer together to frame my face. And the brows picked up warm enough against the hair, but I did add some orangey shadow. Looks intense, but with all the colors on the eyes and lips later on, it'll look balanced, trust me. <laughs> but by the way, this was the first time I ever tried ColourPop. Somehow, I never tried their shadows. Um, I did find they had a little bit more fallout in the pan than I'm used to. I usually work with MAC or Too Faced shadows, but for the price, I think they are a really great option. You want to add a peachy blush, and Dorcas is super blushy in a lot of scenes, so go wild if you want to. Finally, a little highlight. I picked up this Becca highlight in Moonstone, a pale candlelit gold, perfect for this look. And you can go in and add a gold shadow right to the lid, but I picked up this Stila Metallic Shadow because I've always wanted to try this, and this is in the shade Wonderlust. It's a sheer gold with some pink sparkle, and I picked a less intense shade, but this would be really nice for every day, and I really like this product in the inner corner. Back with the Yes Please palette by ColourPop, and I'm layering that gold over the lid. Mixing in some copper to the outer corners of the eye. And since I hadn't used this shadow before, I decided to plan out my shape with a medium brown before going in with the deepest shade in case it was harder to blend. I ended up fixing the shape 
as we go, but you do want to try to get a rounder shape with a crease that is slightly extended into a V, like this photo from behind the scenes. This is from the makeup artist Candice, who's done a couple interviews about the products that they used. So I'll have her page as well as the articles listed down below. I love her work from the show. And this so reminds me of the Greek goddess prom look I did so long ago. Answer in the poll if you've seen that video and thank you if you're watching so many years later. And the brown was picking up a bit too warm for my liking so I'm just using one MAC shadow to bring in more of a neutral grey brown tone. Tried to use one palette but did stray away a little bit. And then I also used a reddish matte under the bottom lashes using some of that highlight on the brow bone and inner corner. Boom, some more darkness. Using my fave MAC liner to help tie the drama together. And I know they layer Ardell individual lashes a lot on the show, but I am lazy and went with some really fluffy outer corner lashes, blended in with lots of better than sex mascara for full lashes with tons of volume. Don't forget your bottom lashes. I like to add a little liner in the inner corner and the tight line. And now for the lip combo. I thought I'd share the most wearable daytime inspired shade from Dorcas. I picked out Birkin Brown from Charlotte Tilbury, similar to the nightgown scene. I love the very Victorian feel with a rich brownie uh, lip color and then lots of lace. I intensely overlined without a lip liner to get a similar lip shape. I honestly do this when I'm lazy and I find the applicator pretty easy to work with from Charlotte Tilbury, um, but the next lip combo I do really black out the lip using a rich matte so the new lip line looks a lot more believable than in this version, but I do personally love this and the blended colors, the shadow shape, it's just such a fun look. You can definitely wear an inspired outfit by layering a slip dress like this one from Brandy Melville. I added temporary lace up top if it looks a little um, peculiar because I just used some um, fabric tape. But anyway, then I layered this gorgeous button up from Free People to bring in that old timey feel. And don't worry, we are not going to forget about the iconic Dorcas look, but let me know if you'd wear this version. I just lost all sunlight, it's getting very dark very early, um, but we're gonna do the Milkmaid braids and these are super easy. So just take your hair and brush it out. I created these curls by using um, like second day curls and then just adding some hairspray to liven them up as you saw. And then instead of just doing two braids, we're actually gonna do four. So I'm starting off with the bottom layer and we're gonna create a normal braid. Tie off with a mini plastic elastic and repeat. Okay, we're gonna fan these out. Make sure you get all the rest of the hair. And again, just tightly braid. Now that we have four braids and look kind of crazy, we're gonna take the back ones out my nail. And you're going to wrap this around the head and use a couple bobby pins to secure it. Second braid, just pull it up and over. And then for these ones, we're gonna fold them and also add this to the layers of braid. Just 
switched up my lip for more of a classic Dorcas look and they use current lip liner from MAC on the show. Um, I read it in an article that I'll have linked down below, but I decided to go with a retro matte like this. Um, I just find that they're a little bit more intense and when I overline, I find these look more realistic. And then the actual lipstick or one of them that they use on the show is Gaston Berry. Gaston Berry? Sounds weird, but hopefully I said it right. I love this shade and I'll have it linked down below if you want to check it out. And I went a little bit overboard with the color spray in my hair, so it's like super metallic, but I used gold from uh, L'Oreal's Colorista line. I found it really brightened the hair up and um, on braids, those things are amazing. They really lighten up your hair and then it washes out, which is perfect. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. This is like the more extreme version for sure. Not quite as wearable, but still super fun. Uh, that's why I wanted to include the first look because I think that one, you know, you could wear every day if you felt like it. It has that Victorian flair in there as well. But let me know what you think and thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, again, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any beauty tutorials. I actually had ordered um, huge lace sleeves for this and Amazon failed me and I was recording this earlier today and had like a little meltdown about it. So. And they're not coming till November 14th, so that's just not going to work. We're not going to include those, sadly. What a shame. I primed it. I did go ahead and film the look without the big sleeves, uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are having an awesome time. It's holiday season now, sort of. And what, what, where am I going with this? Like, now that I live alone, I'm like more hyper or something on camera and then my train of thought just like goes so I'm working on it oh <gasps> hello yeah is it an Amazon package it's, it's okay I'll just come down and get it right now <laughs> okay bye <laughs> maybe that's my sleeves <laughs>